The hottest team in the NFL is in London this Sunday. The Vikings heading overseas today to go up against the New York Jets and, of course, an old foe, the former Packer Aaron Rodgers. Pick it up late in the first 3-0 Vikings when Andrew Van Ginkle picks off Rodgers. It's another interception for Van Ginkle against a team from the Big Apple and another pick six. The first of many big plays by the Viking defense. In this one, 10 to nothing, Minnesota. Second quarter, same score. Grinded out football on the goal line. It's CJ Ham, the fullback into the end zone. 17 nothing, Vikings. But the Jets, well, not going away. Getting within three on a Rodgers pass to Garrett Wilson in the fourth quarter, making it 20 to 17. Still in favor of the Vikings. The Viking defense, though, gets the stop it needs at the end as Stephon Gilmore tells Aaron Rodgers to go back to his retreat. The third pick of the day by Minnesota gives the Vikings a 23-17 victory, and they remain as one of only two unbeaten teams in the NFL. Head coach Kevin O'Connell praises his defense, and Andrew Van Ginkle walks us through his pick six. You got to give it up for our defense flow and those guys. Uh, we needed them today. Uh, it was not good enough uh, to our standard on offense. And uh, moments like this are where we lean into a lot of things that our organization's built off of. It's a great feeling. Um, obviously, when you can make a play like that, um, you know, it can change the game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. And, you know, I'm just glad I caught the ball and the rest is history. But once I, you know, got out of that first tackle, you know, I started running. I saw uh, Harrison Smith had a huge block, and if he doesn't make that block, like, I don't think I score. And, um, you know, so shout out to him and shout out to all the guys behind that, um, you know, just blocked the skilled players so they couldn't catch me. A bye week is next for the Vikings, then another NFC North showdown in two weeks with the Detroit Lions, who are on a bye this week. A combined 8-1 record between these two teams, so it'll be a fun one October 20th at noon in the bank. Packers out west battling the Rams this weekend. We'll pick this one up in a crafty third quarter. Green Bay down 13-10 when Tucker Kraft takes Jordan Love's pass 66 yards down the sideline for the touchdown and the lead 17-13 Packers. Later in the quarter, Kraft gets in the end zone again on the screen pass here as he knifes his way through through for six after the play was reviewed. He was initially ruled short. Jordan Love gets his first win as a starter this season with the Packers knocking off the Rams 24 to 19. The North Dakota State campus still buzzing after the Bison got their revenge against the UND Fighting Hawks Saturday. The Fargo Dome faithful certainly played a role in NDSU's 41 to 17 victory. Bison head coach Tim Palsik says, as always, they made it a tough place to play for their opponents. It sure sounded like a lot of the bigger stadiums I was in. I mean, I thought it was loud at the start. And um, just the, the enthusiasm coming up with the stampede, I thought that was pretty different as well. I thought they were ready to go. The road games are always going to be tough. You know, it's a different environment you're not really used to. I think coming into this tough environment will be good for us in the future now that we know that, hey, we got to react better. UND on a bye next week, so only North Dakota State is in action between the two next Saturday. Bison will be in Carbondale to face off with the Southern Illinois Salukis. That will be a 2 o'clock kickoff. On the ice, in case you missed it Saturday, UND Hockey now tries to bounce back this week following a 4-1 exhibition loss to Augustana. It is North Dakota's first preseason exhibition loss since 1996. Head coach Brad Berry and Captain Louis Jamernick explain what went wrong and what has to change this week. It was guys not being together on the same page right away here. Um, you know, puck race, if, if you go to hockey, hockey is just, puck races and puck battles. If you can win puck races and puck battles, you'll have possession of the puck and then you'll get scoring opportunities. I didn't think we won nearly enough puck races and puck battles tonight. A lot of times this past week, I think we started well. We started with energy and talking and, uh, and then maybe that second or third drill would drop off. So it's just having that consistency just like a game throughout shifts and throw periods to keep that energy up in the execution. They have all of this week to recover for a top 15 matchup Saturday night against Providence in the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame game. It's the season opener and puck drop at the Ralph is set for 607. I can't wait for that one, Ethan. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, but UND, hey, that's a bit of a wake up call right there, but not a little different from the exhibition yeah, games in the past against start. Manitoba. Yeah. Tougher opponent in Augustana who can compete in the CCHA. So. Yeah. No panic. Yeah, no panic. It's one game. Yeah, but hey, they got a bright season ahead. They got a long mm -hmm. way to go. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Eric.